My name is Pat Hewitt. This is my story. Hartsville is my hometown. Coker, I love the family atmosphere. It was small. Uh, each of us knew each other by name, not like when I was in graduate school and it was my social security number. The reason I pursued basketball was I played in school. I loved all athletics, thus a PE major. But as far as coaching, I never really thought about it. And then when I went to Hartsville, I was a female chaperone. And when I saw what was happening and you know, the full court, you know, pressing, getting up and down the floor, I thought, oh, that's where I want to be. I was so blessed. I was able to, to coach people like Shannon Johnson, Tammy Gibson, Beth Bass, Deborah Tyner, Phyllis Griggs, great, great, great kids. What I got from Coker that I instilled in my athletes was confidence. I'd say pick a number, they would all holler one because they knew that was my number every time because if you believe it, you become it. So I told them that you have a toolbox and that's what I got at Coker, my tools to become who I am today. Do you know how to box out? Do you know how to shoot? Do you know how to play defense? Do you know how to run the offense? And so in a game situation, I said, pull it out of the toolbox. What do we do when it's an odd front defense? I got that from Coker, the confidence to know that they were going to be prepared when they walked on that court. And we, we were blessed. You know, we were ranked in the top in the country for over eight years. We were ranked according to ESPN. We went to a lot of national tournaments and kind of helped put Hartsville girls basketball on the map. And it was wonderful to be a part of that. As Shannon Johnson told USA Today that she wouldn't be where she was today if it was not for me. That's not true. I just was fortunate enough to be a part of it. She took me with her to China, to the World Games, and to Athens, Greece, for the Olympics. And when she won that gold medal, it's like the sea party. She walked up on the platform and put it on my neck. And she said, this is yours. I mean, I had tears just coming down. And all the people from the newspaper were clicking pictures of us because it meant so much to us. Everything that I have done and accomplished was because of what Coca prepared me to do. And then to come full circle and come back with them to recognize, hey, we grew this young lady. You know, it made me feel really good.